What's going on? I am James from Bang Cookies. We are a local cookie company based out of Jersey with the best cookies you'll ever taste because we source some of the best ingredients from across the world. And I am so blessed today to have a very special guest with me on this podcast. This person is a celebrity, not only in her area, but amongst the Bang Cookies family, the Bang Cookies team, and really soon to be across the world. She is one of the innovators of our fundraiser outreach program in which she is the first one to start this and has really helped us push this fundraiser outreach program to the, to, to heights where we are now doing some astronomical numbers with some local schools. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to put your hands together as we welcome in Linda Jackson. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Linda. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I am doing great. I am so happy that I get to speak with you today because, as I mentioned in the beginning, you are one of the innovators, the groundbreakers of this fundraiser outreach program that we're doing with Bang Cookies. Uh, and you reached out to us, and the rest is history. So first and foremost, you are from a school called South Central High School in Ohio, right? Correct. Um, why don't you tell me a little bit about your role at the high school and what you do there? Okay, I'm the choral director. I have all sections of choir grades five through 12. So I'm a middle school teacher too. And we, I take care of all the musical theater. I direct our musical theater productions and do all uh, the music history courses and uh, basically thing, everything that has to do with music ed, that's me. I, I love that. You know, I and when I went to school, I, the teachers that I remember still till this day are my music teachers, my chorus teachers and everything like that, because they were the they were the most fun. They were the ones that like they were like teachers, but they weren't because right. they the music touches everybody and chorus touches everybody. And th th what is the international language of everything is music. Indeed. So uh, that's that's unbelievable. So tell me about uh, South Central High School, a little bit about the area, about the students there, about the surrounding areas of that of the high school that you work in the south central uh school district is in rural north central ohio and uh, the towns that it services have a combined population of around two thousand people oh wow and yeah in our district we have roughly 850 children grades pre-k through 12 so it's a pretty small district yeah sure okay all right. And, uh, and and I know that uh, in learning a little bit about the community there, a lot of the of the activities that the, you do with the kids cannot come out of the funding for the school because it is a lower economic area as far as income goes. And that's where the fundraisers come in, because I know that, you know, and I, I believe that that in in. Kids growing up, they need to create memories. They need to create situations. They need to have things to look back on. And that's where the fundraisers come in, right? So we provide them money to be able to do activities, whether they be senior trips or chorus shows or you know, going to see a Broadway play if you're in this area. So how did you come across Bang Cookies? How did it come to be? How did you fall in love with what is now Bang Cookies? I fell in love with Bang Cookies because I bought some. I came across wow. a Facebook ad and I ended up buying some and I loved them. Well, I shared some of them with a few of my students and of course they went mad for them as well. <laughs> so I just had this funny idea one night and I emailed just a general email address uh, off the Bang Cookie site after I couldn't find what basically looked like a fundraising site. And I said, uh, I'm just, you know, somebody from Ohio. I'm a teacher and my students love your cookies. Have you ever thought about selling them as a fundraiser? And it wasn't a half hour later that I had a response from George Kwan himself, uh, the founder of Bang Cookies, uh, who was in Ukraine at the time working yeah. with some software people. Mm -hmm. And it was the middle of the night. And he said, I never check this email address, but I just happened to have it open on my laptop. And he wrote me back and said, you know, it's funny. We were just talking about this in our leadership team. Can I call you? 
And of course, I'm, I was gobsmacked. I was totally <laughs> shocked. And I said, sure. Oh, that's oh. great. Yeah, we ended up having a really nice two-hour conversation about education, about what's important, about what the passion behind music education is and education in general. And I really loved his vision. Uh, you know, speaking of his vision and the vision of the company, uh, one of the reasons why I am so passionate about this is because Bang Cookies sees the need of where money is needed, whether it be with a small organization or a team that needs new uniforms or a an area that is low income that needs to provide books and iPads and computers. And they love to give back. And, and, and like we sit in meetings and just the feel good feeling of being able to say we provided $15,000 to this school and they're going to be doing this with it. Uh, we provided another $10,000 to this school that you know where the kids are now able to go on a senior trip or an eighth grade trip where they wouldn't have been able to do that before because their parents aren't able to provide that for them um and it's such a a, a, a really it makes your heart feel real good and I, you know you speaking of george looking at that email that he never opens i think that was a higher power if you believe in that whatever higher power you believe in that that was a higher power saying this yes, was indeed. actually sure was. meant to be when you found the fundraiser, in your mind you said, all right, we need to raise money for these kids because we can't use the school funding. We need to provide them memories and create memories and great experiences. What were your expectations out of this fundraiser? And the second part to that question was, is what did you plan to do with the money that you raised from this, this fundraiser? I wanted, first of all, I just wanted to make enough money to help my students be able to afford our uh, choir tour that we take every four years to New York City. Wow. And most of my students have never been to New York City. Some of them have never been out of Huron County in Ohio. So it was a big deal. And the kids look forward to it from the time they're fifth graders and they first joined the choir. Mm. So that was my first expectation was maybe to help fund some of their of their trip expense another expense that we always have going along uh is sound reinforcement uh, always always the body mics you know we always need more microphones we always need more speakers we always need more tech for our theater program sure and we get great support from our community in attending our theater productions but uh, they're expensive, as you know, to put on. Sure. So those are expenses that I knew that we were going to have on a repeating basis. So I just wanted enough to get by and make a few purchases and help some kids. And boy, was I surprised at what we ended up getting. And I just put up a, a little slide here of you to, to date. I, I don't know if this is an old screen share, but you raised $23,450. And this was, I guess, the initial... Uh, first couple of of fundraisers that you did yes. with us and you alone raised 1300 and let's say 1400 dollars. so what happens is you get to individually see what you made and then aggregately see what the school made and wow you yeah. you guys your small community really came together to to really just blow it out of the water and and so that's you know i, I just got to give you guys a nice round of applause and when you see your children there tell them that we hear in New York and New Jersey applaud them for doing that because it's not easy to do for everybody to come together under one common goal. And I can tell you this, I know that I live close to New York and I still, when I drive into New York, it takes my breath away. So I can't even imagine what these children are experiencing who have never even left that area to literally drive over the bridge or drive and oh, see drive straight from Weehawken. Uh, it's, I love to look at their faces and to see the skyline of New York and sure. to know that they're going to be a part of that someday at some point. Those are the memories and, and the creation of those great experiences I'm talking about that you were able to afford with the money that you made from bank fundraisers. Sure. So with that being said, what is you've done a lot of fundraisers. You've been in education a long time. All right. And I think this is the most important thing here. So many fundraisers out there. You could do everything from, uh, you know, uh, wrapping paper to uh, you've done it all. I'm sure. What is what sets Bang fundraisers apart from every other fundraiser that you've done in the past? In the past 31 years, we're talking now. Wow. Uh, James, uh, the biggest difference for me as an educator is the, the hands off. 
it's the simplicity. It's the ease with which these kids can operate this fundraiser with zero physical involvement in actually, the, you know, these kids were used to going door to door sure. and having a brochure and which is fine. And if that sells your, uh, if that makes your profit, that's great. But the profits were never fantastic mm. until George came up with, uh, with an idea in a meeting saying, we're going to do away with the brochure. We're going to, and I was initially, I was initially, <laughs> I will, I confess, I was initially a little uh, just worried about that. Sure. And I said, well, George, the, we're accustomed to these, to these brochures, and I'm not sure this new digital thing is going to fly in this small town. Uh, he said, okay, if it doesn't fly, we'll go, we'll give you a brochure. So he totally gave me a back door and, and a safety net and James, let me tell you, it just it just flew out of control. It was amazing how the digital part saved everyone so much time. So much it time. Was so easy. There's no involvement with parents coming in and sorting out orders and me calling kids who didn't pick up their stuff and saying, okay, when are we going to do this? There was none of that logistical nightmare garbage. It was just all completely easy. And that's what I liked most about it. Oh, it's so amazing. And that's what we hear across the board is the fact that you could literally, you live in Ohio, you could have somebody that lives in South Dakota and just send them the link and they go to the store and they're able to buy cookies and it's shipped yep. directly to their house. The ease of not having to use extra manpower in your school to sort it out. Call the parents. Who got the wrong order? Those are all the things that we're hearing. And Linda, thank you so much for being a part of the Bank Cookies family, the Bank Cookies team, the groundbreaker of this uh, of this fundraising outreach program. You we've learned from you. So I want to know what have you learned through this whole process of working with Bank Cookies? I've personally learned that the the sky is the limit on this thing. You don't have to have a small expectation, even if you're a small school, even if you've never been successful at anything like this before. And my students had moderate success. But uh, like you said, James, I have sold it all and done it mm, all mm -hmm. since 1992. And I think what we finally arrived at is something that simply works for everybody. And it's also important, I think, to say that you don't wait six weeks for your order to come in. And I have done that myself too. And I've bought things where I would buy them in March and get them in late April. Oh, wow. Yeah. And yeah. that's how a lot of fundraisers work. And a lot of successful fundraisers work that way. But there's something about that. Hey, I got my order in 72 hours. Can I order again? <laughs> It's amazing. There's magic there. It truly is amazing. Bank Cookies and George and, and the crew have come up with a, I think, the right equation. And the great thing about what they're doing is they're constantly innovating it. They're constantly changing sure. it, not to make it harder, but to make it better and, and, and easier for the supporter as well as the person doing the fundraiser. Right. So and I love it that they're, they're, they're question askers. Yeah. Uh, they, they wanted my opinion as an educator. And for a moment there, I was like, really, do you want my opinion? And, and all teachers would go, wait, somebody thinks that my opinion is really important. And that was a real game changer because they're askers of questions and the kind of people that teachers really love and go for, askers. Yes. So it was great to know that where they stood was firmly behind us. 100%. They are, they, they like to have the climate within the company. Everybody learns from everybody else. Nobody's better than anybody else. We're all, this is a 100% a learning process 100% of the time. When you stop learning, you know that old thing that they say, when you stop learning, it's like you should just pack it up right you so bet. we're constantly learning and we've learned from you and thank you so much you mentioned that you ate the cookies you bought them what is your favorite cookie we, the world wants to know okay. what's linda jackson's favorite bang cookie and go are you ready apple pie oh right. <laughs> it's my favorite <laughs> Un it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right. Listen, this is all you got to do. Fundraise at bangcookies.com or you can scan the QR code right there on the bottom of the screen. You too could be like Linda Jackson and really change 
the lives of your students, your organization, and create those memories that basically mold these children into adults. Linda, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you and we love you for being a part of our family. Thanks so much, James.